Another way of assessing subtalar joint flexibility, and one similar to the heel raise test, is the jack toe raise test. This takes advantage of the windless effect of the plantar fascia, just in the same way that uh, heel rise uh, demonstrates windless effect. In this case, we see the height of Xander's arch. When I pull his gray toe up, we can see the arch elevates, and when the toe drops down, the arch drops. Toe up, arch elevates, and this is because the windless effect of the plantar fascia, a, sub a flexible subtalar joint allows this to happen. The plantar fascia originates on the bottom of the calcaneus, and it ends at the base of the toes. If we dorsiflex the, the toe, we pull the heel toward the metatarsals by the so-called windless effect, the arch elevates. This happens in a flexible subtalar joint foot. So it's another way of demonstrating subtalar joint flexibility by the same effective mechanism as the heel raise test.